All right. Another thing about pivot tables is grouping. So, for example, I will create a pivot table out of sheet P2 of the resource file that you have downloaded from our course. So, to start the pivot table, I'll click any one cell, insert. On the leftmost side, you should see their pivot table. And then again, if you remember, there's nothing much you have to do here but determine if you want a new worksheet or the pivot table to show up maybe on the right side of the table. It's up to you. I'll go for a new worksheet. Click OK. And I now have the pivot table fields pane on the right containing all the fields in my raw data. Then, the next thing I have to do, okay, so I lost my pivot table field pane. I'll show it up again. Analyze, field list. Okay, now I have to bring fields to my pivot report. Just, let's say I want the packages to show up here. And then I also want the payment methods to show up below the packages. Oops, doesn't look nice. Okay, it's up to you. I will swap them. I'll put the payment method first and then the package. And then finally, I'll put some numbers over here. Maybe I'll put the amounts. And since these are numbers, I'll put them here under values. And there you have it. You now have your basic pivot table. Let's say, I also want to find out the monthly trend for each. So the monthly trend will be brought to us by the date booked column. So date booked, I will bring it here under columns. Now, if you have a newer version of Excel, you will notice that your pivot table should automatically group themselves by months, like this. However, not all pivot tables are like this. If you're using an older version of Excel, it will look something like this. It's not monthly, it's daily. So to do something about this, you have to group data together. To do that, right click here on the field and the date, which is part of the data that will be grouped. Click group. Then you can select how you want to group the data. Do you want it grouped by months, by quarters? Just to give it a try, I'll go for months. Click OK. And it's now grouped by months. Let's say you change your mind. You want quarterly report instead. So that's fine. Just right click. Group. Quarters. I will deselect months. Click OK. And your data is now arranged quarterly as easy as that and before we complete this course or this lesson one thing about pivot table is that they don't automatically update if something in your data will change let's say i will change cash for 100 islands so cash for 100 islands i will change this to a higher number it doesn't change no change at all if you remember so for the change to happen you have to refresh your data so that's right click on any cell of the pivot table then you should find there refresh and watch there before it was a low amount 7,000 but now it's already 12,000 because we did a refresh and it allowed the pivot table to update.